Today, we're going to talk about other kinds of simple sentences. Most simple sentences begin with a common or proper noun as the subject. Irene checked out a new book from the library. The person is Irene. The library has all her favorite things. The place is the library. The book is a mystery novel. The thing in this sentence is the book. So person, place, or thing is um, the, the noun or the common or proper noun. It, it's the subject of the sentence. Not all nouns are people, places, and, and things. Simple sentences can start in many different ways. Let's look at some more examples. What about these sentences? What is the subject? Perseverance is the theme of the book. What is the person in this sentence. Perseverance. Bravery is shown through the character's actions. What is the place in this story or this sentence? Bravery. Happiness is what I felt after finishing the book. What is the thing? Happiness. These are called abstract nouns. <clears throat> abstract nouns are ideas or feelings. We cannot see or touch them. An abstract noun can be the subject of a sentence. Love, honesty, excitement, thoughts, peace, courage, anger, um, friendship, kindness. All of these are abstract. You can't see them, but they are a thought or feeling. Abstract nouns. Can you think of some abstract nouns that might make a good subject for this sentence? Blank is a quality I want in a friend. What would you fill in the blank? <coughs> Bravery, kindness, intelligence, helpfulness. Kindness is a quality I want in a friend. Nouns can be people, places, things, ideas, and feelings. What about these sentences? What is the subject? Writing is fun. What is the person? Writing. Skiing is my favorite winter activity. What is the place? Skiing. Running is great exercise. What is the thing? Running. These are called gerund nouns. A gerund noun is um, our words that activity are activity words. These nouns end in ing. They can be the subject of a sentence too. Singing, reading, skating, playing, jumping, sleeping, eating, 
racing, spelling, walking, tripping, hiking. Um, if it has ing on it, it's a gerund. Can you think of a gerund noun um, that might make a good subject for this sentence? Blank is my favorite way to exercise. I would say hiking. What would you say? Let's look at some words that might fit in there. <clears throat> what would you pick from this list? Swimming would be my next favorite. Nouns can be people, places, things, ideas and feelings, and activity words. Simple sentences can have many different types of subjects. Jimmy loves looking at frogs at the pond. The person is Jimmy. The pond is full of them. The pond is the place. Lily pads cover the surface of the water. The thing is lily pads. So all of those are the nouns in, that sentence, in those sentences. Patience is what helps frogs catch their dinner. Ideas and feelings. Patience. <clears throat> Jumping high is what they do best. Jumping is an activity. Name that noun. What type of noun is the subject of each of these sentences? Friendship is an important part of life. Friendship. Glasses help me see better. Glasses. Lucy is an excellent dancer. Lucy. Singing in the car is fun. Singing. Copy this sentence. Pause the video until you get it copied. Circle what you think is the noun in this sentence. How did you do? Hopefully you did quite well. Think about your favorite season. You can write about your favorite season using all types of subjects. On a, on a piece of paper, write a sentence about your favorite season using each of the different types of nouns as the subject. Remember, nouns can be people, places, things, ideas, feelings, and activity, activity words. <clears throat> you can take a picture of your work and upload it to the next slide. 